do I look? Oh, it's for everyone. Anybody who likes to have fun and dance. I'll make one song and people expect me to do that forever and I'm like, nope, I'm gonna do something different now. So I make music for me. I don't really make music for myself. I like to share. I like the idea of sharing. There is something a little bit sexual about that. During the years, I've had fans of mine meeting each other at my concert, dating each other, marrying each other, and then they came when they had the baby. And you know, it's, it's stuff like that my music is for. I make it for me, I make it to be happy. I also make it to make money in order to pay rent so I'm not homeless. It's for those guys. What is something that you regret? Oh shit, I try not to think about that. Um, Honestly, we're right here right now and this is a beautiful moment. And if we changed anything in the past, we wouldn't be here. I kind of regret my first tattoo. It's like a crop circle. I don't know why the fuck I got it. And I got it in the tram stamp area. A colleague of us was sitting in front of me. And I saw a fire extinguisher. And I thought it would be fun to make like, to do like a little spray, like go tsh, and then you, like, just to scare him. So I opened the thing, nobody saw it. And out of nowhere, I just pushed the button. The whole van was white. Yeah. The driver couldn't see anything anymore. So. He went nuts. Eating that burger earlier, my stomach's kind of with the vodka. What you really regret sometimes is making uh, some certain tracks that you were like, yeah, whatever. It's I'm not 100% sure about it, but still I'm going to release it. And a, a few years later, I hate myself for releasing it. <laughs> I have nightmares over and over. What I do is like that that I'm like on a stage like this and the only music I have is R and B music. But like really cheesy R and B music and then I have no clue what to do. I get this recurring nightmare where I'm DJing and, and the tune's just running out. Definitely a dream I'm having after playing a gig or whatever, in your mind you're still dreaming, you're still at the gigs and you're running out of tune after five minutes of playing no music. That's like my biggest nightmare. I can't find the next tune, I've got, I can see it counting down. And you're searching through your CDs and there's just everything's gone and you know like, like what the fuck? Fuck, I have to play another hour and I have no tunes left. And then I wake up just like, oh, thank God that didn't fucking happen. I had this weird dream that for some reason our mixer that we got was the one from the 80s. This huge one that looked like it was like a spaceship controller. And I was like, I don't even fucking know how to use this. Fuck, our careers are over. Nah, but I did once have a dream. This guy was like, you know what? You need to just suck it up. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? I've got this problem. He's like, no, you need to suck it up. There's more important things to think about. And I was saying to this guy, I was like, what? What are they? Like, you know what it is. You know exactly what you need to do. You just need to get up and do it. And all of a sudden, this weird music started playing. And then all of a sudden, I realized that the music was Kings of Leon. And it was my mum's birthday the next week, and she really wanted the Kings of Leon album for her birthday. And I was like, shit, my problems don't mean anything. Like, I need to fucking wake up and get that album. So yeah, I had an existential dream about buying my mum a birthday present once. Oh, I remember what I regret. What? Last night on the flight over, I ate like Pringles, Doritos, Cheetos, <laughs> Chips Ahoy, Milano's. I I went hard and then I woke up with a stomach ache, so I regret all that. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs>